Yo, 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 guys, welcome back again today. Today, we're going to be talking about the Cairo people. The Cairo people, or the Kaira people, are located in the Omo Valley of Ethiopia. The Cairo people's oral tradition says they settled in the valley after following a red bull to the Omo River. Kaira, in their language, means fish. Growing beans, sorghum, and maize is common here. Flooding throughout the year helps this food grow. Fishing is also a part of the culture. Porridge is usually cooked using milk or water. Honey also is part of the people's diet due to the availability in nature. Sorghum is also fermented to make a local beer that is consumed for recreation and ceremony purposes. Silt left behind by the floodwaters is used to fertilize crops. The new Ethiopian dam is moving the people upstream in the Omo River. So because of this Ethiopian dam, this will affect the natural floodwaters that happen in the area. On land, the Cairo breed goats and cattle. The Cairo usually intermarry to keep their lineage pure. Being a smaller group of people, Ethnic groups around the Cairo people have more wealth and power. Trading back and forth with other ethnic groups for cattle, beads, cloth, and food is a common place. A man can have up to three wives, in which he has to build each wife a home. If he does have three wives, he must divide the time with each and stay between all three homes. Homes are built with wooden poles and the roofs are made of straw with the exoskeleton to keep the structure sturdy. Mud can also be used on traditional homes as well. The kitchen is never located inside the homes and is built outside for cooking and venting. Headrests are also used to sleep and protect the head. This wooden headrest elevates the head from the ground and can also be used as a stool. The Cairo people are known to be artistic. They will paint their face and bodies with iron ore, charcoal mineral rocks, and white chalk. These body paintings are symbolic and are used to become more attractive to the opposite sex. The people also make a hole under the lower lip, such as neighboring peoples like the Mercy people. This space is used to insert a feather or a stick. Like other peoples in this valley, scarification is practiced. For the women, scars are inflicted for beauty reasons. Cuts on the stomach, back, and chest are considered attractive, and the woman's maturity is seen through this. A knife is used and ash rubbed in the skin for a permanent welt. The women also wear loincloth made for animal hide and wear colorful beads around their neck. They also mix animal fats and ochre to use in their hair. The men scarify themselves for courage acts. Deadly animals or rival tribes are all showcased on these scars. The more scars a man has on his chest, the higher in society he is. Each scar represents a single kill. Ochre clay gray and red hair buns with ostrich feathers are also rewarded to brave Cairo warriors. This indicated that the man has killed an enemy or a leopard or a lion. This takes three days to make and it's remade every three to six months. Cairo men's hairstyles consist of braids in front with the rest of the hair drawn back. Glazed earth minerals are colored and hold the hair firmly. Courtship dances and rituals are a normal part of the people's life. Many neighboring tribes will travel night and day to participate and see these events. Like many other people in the area, the Cairo practice Bula. Bula is a bull jumping ceremony which celebrates a young man's coming of age. 
The young man will have to jump over rows of cattle six times in a row. If successful, he can go to sacred places with elders and can get married if his older brother is already married. If he fails, he will be disgraced. The people also have gained access to AK-47 rifles from Sudan and Somalia. They use these guns to protect their cattle from wild beasts and enemies. So yo guys, today we learned about the Cairo people or the Kaira people, which I think is what they would like to actually be called. Please like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification down there so you'll get all my videos. Definitely subscribe and like as well to help the algorithm. Please also check out my online African diaspora art down there. It's called Diaspora. The link is in the description. Follow me on all social medias, which is Africa Network, which is Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. Each one teach one. Always love each other. Always learn from each other. And yo guys, until next time, peace. One love.